Okay, I've been on YouTube for a while now, and I just, and I just and it's just become to my attention that so far I have not reviewed a game with a two or a one in it. The lowest game that has been rated so far has just been a couple of threes. Now, so far I am glad that everybody has been able to respect my own opinion on these games and for the reasons why I've rated them as such. I realize everybody else has their own opinion, and I'm just grateful that everybody has been able to respect my opinion and the reasons of and the reasons why I've given those scores. I, I admit, I am not a professional, and, <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't say I wouldn't like to be a professional. All I'm trying to do is just state my reasons why I rate these games the way I do. The reason why I'm making this video is to let you is just because in the near future I will be making some reviews that have twos and ones. When I go to review those kind of games, I'm still giving my reasons as to why I'm giving as to why I'm rating it as such. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and I'm and I'm no different. And neither is anybody else who's even watching this video. All I ask is that when I do these things, is when I do those reviews, that you be respectful and remember why I give it the ratings that I do. When I go to review a game, even if it's a game I know I'm going to hate, I still have to judge it based on what it is. I have to remain open-minded, and I have to look for anything, anything at all that might be interesting. When I go to review a game, I review presentation, graphics, design, sound and music, even some voice acting at times, and of course, the most important thing about the game, the gameplay, such as camera angles, controls, how well, it re how well it responds, and just how much fun the game really is, and any little neat features that come in it. However, if I'm to judge, let's say, a game that has a big fan base and is widely known and or popular, and I give it a bad score. Now, if I do this, some people will actually think I'm insulting them and their taste, and they will actually try to attack me. These kind of people are known as bashers, haters, and flamers. And of course, there are the truly biased fans who would not care about anybody else's opinion, who will just state that they love the game because it's this, and that's all, they, and that's, all that's good for them. These are the kind of people I can't stand because they have no sense of logic or reason in their whole entire body. And I'm just glad that everybody who has subscribed to me and just about, I would say 99% of everybody who's been on this channel has truly been respectful and has, and hasn't been able to lash out or attack me at all. They've all been respectful. They all understand my reasons, they all understand why I give these games as such, but I'm just letting you guys know this right away. See, I'm not one of those critics that try to be nitpicky and go into any little detail and say, ooh, that's a fault, I'm going to mark it off a point. I only do that if it interrupts the gameplay. If it's a little annoyance, it doesn't really bug me, but if it becomes consistent within the game, then it gets on my nerves and that's when I can take off a point. This is how I this is how I judge games. This is how I rate them. I don't try to copy anybody except for possibly Xplay who has a huge influence on me. But even so, I still try to be as different from them as possible, even though I have a great respect for them. Because being a critic isn't all isn't that easy. It can be fun, but it's not easy. You have to respect everybody else's opinions. And when people ask you to judge something, Pretty much the best way to go is to point out all the good, all the good things, all the bad things, things that made you say, "Wow," the things that were really good, and the things that needed improvement, or things that shouldn't have been there in the first place. And that's basically all there really is to being a critic. And not everybody understands that, but that's basically how I do it. I just go out there and tell it as it is. And I want you to remember that as I make future reviews. That may have games that may have games rated with a low score, because I want you guys to be able to remember to respect my opinion, and as I'll be able to respect yours. Remember, that's all these are: it's opinions. It's not like I'm going out and attacking someone because because they like it. No, no, no. You're entitled to your opinion just as just as I'm entitled to mine, and that's all there is to it. So I hope you understand, and I hope this and I hope this video enlightens you.
and I hope you'll be able to review some of my future reviews as well as some upcoming projects that I have planned. I don't know when I'll be able to do another What If They Were in Brawl. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys understand this, and I'm hoping to get some more videos out soon. And until next time.